Hi, I'm Jason Spangler, Flooring Division Manager here at Wagner Meters, and I'm here today to talk to you about uh, a concept called equilibrium moisture content and why that's important as an installer to really calculate and understand the concept. Um, a lot of people will have some type of wood moisture meter for being able to measure the wood subfloor and the finished wood product. A lot of people that do wood floors for uh, a living will understand that NWFA guidelines dictate that there can't be more than a two to four percent variance between the moisture contents of that subfloor, wood subfloor, and the finished product. Um, but what I find out is, is that a lot of people when they're reading their wood moisture meter, they don't really understand the target that they're shooting for. They have this wide concept, but they don't understand fully what number they should be seeing based on that environment that they're trying to install in. And so the, the, the way to really come up with that is, you know, I hear people talk about general guidelines of, you know, six to 8% is where things should be to install depending on location um, uh, geographically. But it, it, it's, it's, it's something more than that because even within a given geography, you could have environmental conditions in, in a home that are, are different than a next door neighbor because maybe they have an HVA system or lack thereof uh, that isn't working to the same capacity or level um, as, as people in the same neighborhood. So the best way to get that target that you're looking for on your wood moisture meter is to have a thermohygrometer. And the thermohygrometer will be a device that tests the relative humidity and temperature in the air. And then with that information, you can figure out a concept or a calculation that's called equilibrium moisture content. Now, equilibrium moisture content is the moisture content that wood will gravitate to or acclimate to if it is left in that environment long enough to reach that spot. So with the thermohygrometer and with the relative humidity and temperature that you get from that, you can either punch that information into a, uh, a calculator like our Wood H2O app, or you can have a device like the Orion 950, which is our wood moisture meter, non-invasive, that has a built-in thermohygrometer in it, and it also has an option where it calculates that EMC for you. And so by having that information and setting the meter up or having the capability to set the meter up, to the specific species of wood that you're measuring, you now know that when you put the meter on there, you know what the target is that you're looking for. And if those readings that are showing up on the face of that meter don't close, closely match that, uh, that target you're looking for, then you know that the conditions are, are needed to leave the wood to acclimate longer. Um, you know, obviously by acclimating or by installing sooner than a complete acclimation is has, has processed, you end up with a situation where you could have cupping and crowning or splitting and cracking or anything like that. So understanding equilibrium moisture content, understanding that that is truly the target that you are shooting for on the wood meter when you're taking readings is really critical for a long lasting installation. Hope you found the information helpful. If there's any other questions that I can answer for you, please reach out to me. My email is jspangler at wagnermeters.com.